Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Avernum 3. We are in our first dungeon. Everything's uh, going very smoothly so far. We just defeated the first, well, mini-boss, if you want to call it that. Uh, the Goblin Shaman, whose name I already forgot if they had a name. I probably did. They typically do. Uh, we got some... Oh yeah, we got the Shield Ring, of course. That was the big piece of loot that we got from there. Um, spell points are still alright. But definitely going down. Um, but last time I think I checked, and yeah, we're over halfway to level 3, so it's very possible that we might... Oh, there is a lower level to this, though. Right. Ramp down. Okay, so this is uh, not a tiny dungeon. And we'll see how much more difficult it is going to become. Okay, here we have three more goblins. That shouldn't be a problem at all. Right, let's go there. Uh, yeah, well, that's actually fine, since we only have one uh, melee character this time around. And is there actually... Hold on. Is there a way to make... Um, oh, actually, it's here. To, to like, cleave with arrows? That would be amazing, but I don't think that's actually a thing. Well, this is just an extra shot chance, which is nice. Um, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think there is such a thing. That would be a bit too good, maybe. Um, why don't you stand back and just shoot? I could have fireballed, hoping to maybe cleave here. I mean, really, there's hardly ever a, a reason not to use fireball for one mana. It is going to add up, of course. Um, let's, can you shoot from here? That's the question. You can't. Um, sure. Let's protect. I really don't... Oh, oh. Hello, cave worm. Okay, okay. Multiple cave worms. Nice crit. Very good. Um, well, she's not going to get away easily from there, and she'll definitely be able to handle that goblin, so let's focus on these worms instead. Definitely going to... Well, I could I could try and daze. Thing is, they're not that dangerous. Daze is expensive. So if I can kill one with a fireball, yeah, it's better... Uh, better usage of my mana, I think. And we might immobilize it. We did. Uh, which doesn't matter because it's still gonna reach... Um, well, either one of these. Okay, didn't quite kill it this time. Oh, actually. Nice. Get wrecked. And get wrecked too. Awesome. This worked out perfectly. Uh, Rosluka took some more damage, but that's really not a problem. We could heal. It's not very expensive at all. Also, you know, I know this dungeon is easy, and I don't need to, you know, really uh, worry so much about every single little combat. But I want to get into a habit of, you know, playing tactically and using my resources um, sparingly, because things are going to become more difficult. Uh, with a typical disregard for hygiene and aesthetics, the goblins have been throwing their filth, bits of rotten food, and general excretions down this slope for some time. It's pretty gross. Yep, gross enough for actual, I don't know, worms to develop here. Also, someone took the trouble to install a secret chamber here. Wow, with an emerald. It's, uh, yeah, worth quite a bit. Radiate ice. Right, you get that. Yeah, definitely makes the most sense to have those... Um, character-centered AoE spells on uh, my frontline fighter. Oh, got some herbs. Yes. Right, uh, we could go along here. Oh, okay, that's a dead end. Perfect. Oh, Chief Cruncher. <laughs> okay, that's a name. Now we know who our enemy is, or at least what he's called. Uh, let's see what's here first. Okay, more actual construction. As opposed to just inhabited... Oh, there's also something more there. Forgot about that. Uh, yeah, as opposed to just inhabited caves. Hello there, lizards. Oh. Oh. Well, that's most unfortunate. I did not expect that kind of damage. Mm. Okay. 
I underestimated the giant lizards and I can't resurrect. Nor do I want to miss out on experience or walk out of the dungeon yet, so unfortunately that's a reload and I don't know where I save. Oh god, I didn't save at all during this episode. Okay, you know what? I typically don't do that, but I'm gonna pause and repeat what I did and meet you right back with those lizards. Okay, I'm here again. That was easy. Um, it's fun. Went pretty much exactly like the first time around. I, actually, Rasluka took a bit more damage. Um, although we killed all those enemies much faster, we, we got multiple crits in there. It was pretty good. Uh, so I ended up healing her because she had taken enough damage so that it wasn't... Uh, didn't seem like as much of a waste of mana. So, yeah, already quick save. That's fine. Now that I know what's coming, of course... Oh, also, I guess I picked that door, didn't I? Yeah, okay, I didn't see that before. Was that 20 experience per character? That's actually not bad at all. Okay, anyway, now that I know what's coming, I'm gonna basically cheat, use my meta knowledge, and start out with a shield chant. That's pretty much all the preparation I can do. Um, start combat mode. And, okay, we got the lizards here. Attack. Attack. Okay, now the lizards are both gonna act. Oh, never mind, only one of them. That's weird. Finish it off? Wow, and we even got a cleave. Well. Nice. So much better. So much better. Alright. Well, I was just unlucky the first time, I guess. Uh, although they do hit pretty hard, so there is that. Uh, let's save again. Oh, that's difficulty three. Okay, note, note sheet, uh, goblin. What, what's this even called? Um, goblin fort, I guess. I mean, maybe that's not the official name, but I guess I'm gonna know. That's the one I'm referring to. Goblin fort uh, door three. Okay, so that's going to be for later. Let's look what's here. Uh, don't go in here, bad bugs. Bad bugs, okay. Uh, kite racks, presumably. Or maybe just worms. Oh, difficulty 7. Okay, another one for the list. Door 7. In parentheses, bugs. With a Z. That's important. Okay, well, those are going to be for later. Uh, this door for not that much later, but the other one, definitely. Well then, uh, we could go downstairs, or we could go and probably confront that goblin chief. I wonder if I should heal. Actually, I should... Well, not sure if I should, but I can do this. Uh, go grab some bread. There was more in here. And eat that. Awesome. There we go. As you emerge onto this rocky shore, you hear a loud snorting noise. You look across the water to the east and see a large goblin watching you. She snarls. She, okay. <laughs> uh, it's not easy to tell for non-goblins. Keep on, Evernight. I am Chief Cruncher. You owe us blood debt now. I make you pay. Come to me. I wait. Then she makes an insulting hand gesture and walks off into the shadows. Bye, Cruncher. Okay. So she's somewhere downstairs, it looks like. Also, thanks for those animal things. Much appreciated. Okay, there's another trapdoor. Hmm. Alright. Okay, and we have some giant rats. Thankfully no vapor rat though, so this should go with little problem. Gravedig or thuck? Alright. Or thuk. Ah, sure. Finish it off. Wow, well, there was a lot of lag there for Oh, because he got the snipe rock. Okay, he has a few hit points. Nothing we can't handle, though. Um, relatively large group of enemies. I could use a charge of fiery one. Oh, that's a cone of fire, though. Never mind. Yeah, I really wish I had my nice targetable AoE spells yet, but not quite yet. Um, fireball. It's hardly worth trying to daze these. For eight mana. Okay, I'm still gonna do it. Okay, we did daze all of those. And actually, threw a spear. 
Nice. He is still ensnared. Okay, missed with one attack. You walk up here. Nice. Okay. 21 experience. Well, very uh, variable experience for everyone. I don't really understand why that's necessary. I'm, I, honestly, it just throws off my... Well, perfectionism. It's really not a big deal at all. But, first of all, I don't really see the logic. I mean, I guess everyone learns different things from, from any fight. Maybe that's probably the reasoning. Um, beyond just, you know, making things less predictable and just a bit more random for the sake of... Well, surprise and less predictability, I guess. That's enough of a reason. Can't reach. Seriously. Oh. Now you can. And you can miss. Uh, save your arrows. Uh, not, not arrows. Jeff. There we go. Yeah, but, you know, I really like it when everyone... When, when I can see that I, I was doing good, you know, uh, by not having anyone die. Can I not? What? Pretty sure I was able to switch between characters with the... Oh, still in combat. Dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm used to. Okay, um, yeah, you know, I like to use that as a measure of, of um, having done good in games when I can see that everyone is at the same experience level, no one was dead at any point. I mean, of course, I'm constantly reloading, so there is that. But you know what I mean. Um, okay, this is better. It has a crit chance. Okay. It also has built-in... 5% extra melee damage. Okay. Very nice. That goes in the offhand, of course. And... I mean, there's little reason not to give everyone swords. Wait. Oh, he already has that. Good. Right. Um... Oh, actually... No, no, never mind. This is slightly lesser... Uh, slightly less minimum damage, but... Better. Max damage, so overall better damage. Cool, cool. What is, what is that green thing? Is that part of the, the flower? The dried flowers, probably. Okay. Right, this leads nowhere. Okay, two warriors. Oh, big deal. Poisoned. Um, let's actually shoot that guy and hope that we don't miss with... Fireball. Uh, sure. Javelin. Oh, almost killed. Okay, we have another one coming from here. He's terrified. That's perfect. Uh, can I reach... Uh, no, I can't. Well, in that case, why don't you try shooting him? Nope. No such luck. Okay, that's fine. Fireball and javelin. Come on, you can do it. Nice. And combat. Switch to sword. And oh, okay. We have a flinger coming. Flinger is dead. Hey, we got a Neville. Huh, what's a Neville doing here? Javelin him, miss. Okay, now can I please loot everything? Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, we definitely... Definitely not... Oh, that's another Iron Javelin. Well, anyway, we're not really going to run out of Javelins, it looks like. So far... I haven't used a ton of them either, but by virtue of only having one character use javelins, you're probably going to find enough to restock, usually. Uh, this passage has the best construction of anything you've seen in the Goblin Lair so far, which granted isn't saying much. It actually has a cut stone floor. A solid cave wood door is set in the north wall. Okay. We also have more goblins. One more goblin. Well, there's something else around the corner. Come on. 
Okay, a wolf. It's actually really nice to have only one melee character for situations like these, where you have a narrow corridor. That was definitely a bit of a problem in the previous games where I had two frontline fighters who were needed to swap constantly and couldn't take advantage of their backstab ability anyway. The furs in this goblin lair are less rotten, the air less fetid, the scraps of food mildly fresher. The higher status goblins must receive the privilege of living here. Okay, the higher status goblins, yeah, sure. I still wonder how they have wolves here. I mean, apparently wolves are completely new to the Evernights, but I suppose the, the goblins have been living near the surface for longer than we have. You know, it kind of makes you wonder why the Evernights never settled these upper caves to begin with. But, you know, let's not ask too many questions. Wow, we get lots of loot here. I like it. Wine. Um, yeah, thanks. There are no benefits at all, right? It's just war curse and slows you. <laughs> well, I guess it must be really bad wine. Okay, very obvious. Oh! Very obvious button. Nice. This will actually allow us to go after the chief, right? Among other things. It will also allow us to... Well, yeah, that's exactly what it's going to do. It will allow us to reach uh, this trapdoor and then probably by extension this one. So uh, where we'll probably emerge. We can also reach that urn to loot it. But there are, of course, a couple more places to check first, like this here. Healing potion. Uh, leather pants. Everyone has leather pants at this point. Good, good. Um, never tried picking this door, but... Oh! Oh! That's surprising. Okay, let's not go in there. Interesting. I did not expect to find the chief here. Huh. Can I... There we go. Open that. Okay, we got more herbs. Energetic herbs. Spiritual herbs. Still the same kinds we're familiar with. Definitely want to check out where this leads, though. I mean, this is where the chief was, right? So, she must have fled either... Maybe this is a kind of portal? Or if not that, she must have used the, the hatch. At the bottom of a shallow, stagnant pool, you see what looks like a large bone. A closer glance reveals it to be a scroll tube. It would be pretty easy to reach to reach in and recover. Uh, obvious trap is obvious, but of course I have to try and take it. Oh, or maybe it's completely safe. Lightning. Uh, nearby foes. Okay. So that's uh, 26 to 80... Uh, what? 26 to 86, yeah. And this is uh, 35 to 110. Right. I mean, right now we don't have any abilities, so might as well fill up my hotbar with... Uh, with Items for the time being. Okay, this is a tiny underground section connecting to exactly where I was expecting. Oh, big spiders, ooh. They might be bad news. Well, they have some hit points, but not more than some other enemies we've seen. Fireball. Um, maybe finish it off with one of those? Nice. Smite, that's what it's called. Okay. Thankfully I was able to kill them before they even got to attack, but they might... Why do I keep doing this? Uh, save the game? <laughs> and hope that we can actually win? Wow, okay. I guess we can if we uh, start one-shotting those. I'm okay with that. Uh, I want to throw in one of these. Okay, perfect. This is going way too well. What's happening here? Um, just in case, I'm going to also throw protection into the mix. Kill that one. Shoot that one. Fireball. Wow. Okay. I knew something was coming. Ooh, yeah, this poison this is really bad news. Oh god. Okay. Nice one. I am going to leave that one alive for now, uh, so I have to be careful. Cure. Thank goodness. Okay. Um, it is ensnared. So we wait 
Actually, shoot. If we can kill it, even better. Okay, good. That was a little bit scary. Heal. Thank you. Combat. Okay, that's all of them. Sandals. Uh, okay. They're lightweight. And of course, they're better than no shoes at all. You'd think that the Avernum Army or Secret Service would provide their agents with at least, you know, basic clothing, but I suppose we started out completely naked. Um, okay, <laughs> this time I saved before I hit the button. Okay, here we have a bunch of cave crawlers. Oh, nasty bugs. I remember. Okay. So it looks like I won't have to... There's another button too. Uh, I won't have to pick this lock at all. Okay, these are actually... Yeah, these definitely are a different kind of crawler. I wonder what that was. That one uh, in the second fight in that na nasty uh, rat corridor in the on the overworld? Oh. Anyway, uh... I could finish it off. But... Well, it's also a lot of them. Actually, they might add up. Uh, yeah, this is gonna get most of them. But not Daze My Warrior, so I'm okay with that. Uh, you go ahead and... That one's dazed. So let's try and kill that one. Nice. Okay. Only one of them is active. Missed the main hand attack, I think. Shoot. Nice. Hey, okay, we start leveling up already. That was faster than expected. Kill it. There we go. Only, only Xaz left, who is lagging behind a little bit. Nice. Very nice. Um, okay. You get more strength or more endurance. Actually, we seem to be doing fine in terms of hit chance right now, so let's become a little bit more survivable. That's been more of a problem recently. Um, but we definitely want more points. I don't know how many it takes to unlock battle disciplines. Not that we strictly need them, but it would be nice to have a, a sort of ability that we can use. Now the first one should be Mighty Blow, I think. Just a slightly better attack on a cooldown. Um, I also like the idea of having better defense, because she is pretty much my tank and, you know, not even using a shield. So I think I need to be a bit more... Uh, need to be taking care of her protection a bit more. We're still in combat too, so let's fix that real quick. Grab some stuff, silver necklace can be sold. Uh, leather helmets... yeah, okay, we're good on those. Shielding... Oh, shielding potion, right. Why, why did they have to switch all the the uh, item, especially the, the potion icons around? This is gonna throw me off. I mean, I'm gonna get used to it, but seriously, why not just keep them uh, consistent between games? That doesn't seem to make sense to me. Uh, because these used to be curing potions. Now it's shielding potion, okay. Uh, uh, that's pretty good. Again, it's something that makes the most sense on my uh, my warrior, so there we go. More items. I really should just use these when it makes sense. Like in a combat like this. As soon as all the enemies are ensnared, I might as well start throwing in some AoE. Of course these were just, you know, easy enough that it didn't feel necessary at all. Um, for you, I'm gonna give you more dexterity. It is increasing damage, right? Chance to hit and damage with missile weapons, yeah. I mean, honestly, he's doing he's doing very very well right now. I was kind of worried about the viability of a pure archer, but right now, um, so far it seems it seems really good. Uh, oh, we actually did put a second point in here. If I put another point, I'll be able to open that one door. Hmm, it's tempting. I'm gonna put in those points anyway, right? Eventually. I also want more of these. Sharpshooter. Just damage and hit increase. But I will have to increase it to get more sniper, which I want. 
I could put both points in here. Maybe give someone else a point in tool use. Hmm. But the thing is, no one really has any points to spare. Everyone will benefit the most from putting points into their primary offensive uh, abilities. I'd really like to find some find a trainer to to just buy extra levels of support skills like like open locks like uh, tool use. Uh, that's a it's a tough call. I'm gonna put one point in here and gonna put one point in here. It's probably not not ideal, but I'm not trying to min max necessarily. I'm gonna try and mar make smart decisions and you know, but I'm not going to uh, super power game this thing. I'm not playing on torment anyway, so. Uh, I've been fine playing on hard so far in, in the previous game, especially. So I'm pretty confident that it's going to be alright. I mean, more more energy is always going to be so desirable. More health would also be nice. I mean, two endurance is really low. Yeah, sure. Let's let's give him some endurance. Uh, we definitely want more this to be able to learn more spells. In fact, maybe I should prioritize this a bit more than I have been. Oh, we can only put one point in there. Never mind then. Um, sure, more arcane lore. Yes. Uh, same thing for you. More hit points so we can maybe survive uh, like one of those breath attacks that used to one-shot the, the entire party. That would be nice. Okay. Same here. I really should be um, should always be putting one point in here into the the base skill so we can unlock um, more abilities or new spells as quickly as possible. Mm. First aid is useful. Definitely helps a lot with uh, our long-term survivability and sustainability. It's also one of those things that you can just buy for everyone in the party and it will add up nicely. Uh, let's go with some extra... Actually more arcane lore or... Uh, I don't know. No. Efficiency. There we go. Okay. Um, don't think I didn't see your obvious button. Oh, okay. This, this door is just completely superfluous. Wait, and I did not... I already forgot. Did I end up... Yes, I did. End up picking that. So we can go in here and pick this door. 20 experience. Actually, not not bad. You find the pitiful remains of what was once a human being. You see on her shoulder a scrap of what looks like a uniform of the army of Avernum. It's too unpleasant to look at... Uh, to look any closer than that. Oh. Really? That's all? Oh, I can actually search her body. Gold ring. I mean, I feel like we should maybe find out who she was and give this ring back to someone, but uh, it's just a generic sellable item, so I guess I'll take it. You know, the justification being that we are working for the, the good of all of Avernum, so I'm sure she'll be happy to contribute that to the cause. Yeah, this is actually not the same map as, the, as that little connecting tunnel was. Interesting. Hmm. Also, yeah, the the position of the stairs is completely different, so this might just be its own map that filling much, if not most, of this of this level here. It's not what I expected. After uh, discovering the, the chieftain uh, on the upper level, Right, we're also full on mana again, so I really don't need to be holding back at all. Oh! Uh, Yorvua? Yorvua. Maybe the, the beast trainer here? Okay. Uh, let's take out the wolf. Um, oh, I have to take one step forward to be able to do this. Okay, good. We got the important one. You need to hurry, for sure. I was getting a little bit too close. Oh, you're actually... Oh. Weird. Why is he so bright? And not uh, grayed out like... 
space enemies usually are. Okay. Instantly terrified. Oh, this is too easy. Am I actually playing on hard? Okay, this is the starter dungeon, of course, so... It's not unexpected. Oh, actually, I never checked uh, if maybe we can... Nope. I think it's probably four points for the first battle discipline, if I remember correctly. It's unfortunate that you are not even allowed to check until you have enough points for at least one. It's uh, yeah, another one of those small annoyances that really don't make sense to me. Wait. Oh. Why? Comet Skull aren't high enough. Oh, because I didn't put it... Right, for him I didn't put another point into bows. That's right. Uh, flawless shot. I mean, okay, those bow skills... At least the early one, I think it's not as important. Well, aim blow is nice to have. And to basically use on a cooldown, there's no excuse not to. Because it doesn't cost you anything. That's a nice thing about these battle disciplines. Later on, they're going to be... Uh, which one is it? Is there only blinding shot? Well, I thought there was at least a kind of shot that actually knocks back enemies. Maybe that's that one? Knocks back and pins in place. The thing that uh, enemy archers, higher higher level enemy archers, like to use against you, and which is super obnoxious. I thought for sure that was a thing, but maybe not. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's obviously put that on the hotbar. There we go. And that's uh, yeah, definitely a lot better damage than regular attack. Three turns to recover. Right. Nice. And we have that finally. There's a, another button. I didn't necessarily mean to loot here. Wow. 110 damage. Not bad. Alright, I already checked that. Uh, got some stuff here. More crude javelins for you. Another crude sh uh, short card, also for you. Incidentally. Uh, leather Greaves. Right. How are we looking weight-wise? You already have those. This is an upgrade for you. It does lower hit chance, of course. Actually, I mean, it's only 1% extra armor and evasion. I wonder if it's worth for an archer. Of course, his hit chance right now is pretty amazing. That does bring him pretty close to to his encumbrance, though. I mean, it's okay. Being close is no problem. Being over it is a, is a problem. Um... Right. Speaking of encumbrance limits, getting ever so slightly closer. Let's can stay here. Uh, that was a bad guess. Okay. Fine leather. Well, I did sell the first piece. I guess I might as well hold on to them for now. Start collecting. Yeah. Um, I cannot always sell it if I really need money for something specific. The air of this tunnel is filled with a thick musky smell. Bits of fur float in the air and scratches cover the floor. Your eyes start to itch. These tunnels serve as a huge kennel for the raiders above. Right. I mean, that much is pretty obvious. Uh, let's check out this secret button here. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Another healing potion. You get one. Okay. Just a nice little extra reward for keeping your eyes peeled. Oh, oh! I did not see that there were this many. Um, in the interest of being able to safely daze them or just outright murder them. I guess. Wow! Get wrecked. What's going on here? This is going way too well. Smite? Oh, I can't reach. Probably line of sight with the corner here. Okay. Um, kill that one? Uh, well, I was kind of hoping for a crit. Of course, it's not realistic to expect a crit, but it could have worked out, and it, in fact, it did work out pretty nicely. Stone blocks in this nest. Oh, okay. Hmm, where should I check first? I guess I'm checking here first, it looks like. Okay, more wolves. 
So many wolves. Di oh, dire wolves, actually. Uh-oh. Well, we have heard about wargs. Not dire wolves specifically. Also, I totally did not use my new skill there previously. Oh, okay, this is just a wolf. So maybe if we can... Okay, good. We did kill the dire wolf before I was able to act. And I did not expect to be able to hit that guy. Because uh, of line of sight, but it did work out. That's awesome. Okay, there are at least two more wolves around here, so let's cast protection. I guess why not? Stab that one. That one's not even coming. Okay, and fireball. And that's that. Okay, this is probably going to connect over there. There's another button. There's a wall that looks crumbled. Um, hold on. Was a priest? That's a... That was the wrong button. Okay. Don't want to accidentally re uh, quick load here. Priest spells... Um, move mountains. Yeah, okay. That's still a thing. Assuming... I can actually look here. No need to assume at all. Uh, in combat makes rocks fall. Outside breaks cracked walls and stone pillars. Yeah. I mean, this looks like a potential wall to... To crack open. Okay, also I can already scratch both of those doors off my list. That's nice. Um, uh, B1, I guess. <laughs> For lack of a better term. Th I mean, this map probably has its proper name, but whatever. Uh, crack wall. Looks like crack well, but I think I'm gonna know what I what I meant. Wrong character. Uh, oh, okay. Also, difficult button. I mean, I really don't know. Maybe there is some other thing that you have to to learn about m mechanics. <laughs> Maybe that's not tool use. You know, doors explicitly say how much tool use you need to open them. Why wouldn't buttons say exactly what you're missing? So maybe that's not tool use at all that's required, but it might be. Okay, only one wolf. Well. Nothing in here? Hmm. More sandals. No one needs sandals on this. Oh, never mind. You do. Oh, okay, there's definitely something crumbleable. Crumbleable. Um, 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 what do, what do I call these? Uh, rock, I guess, just. So those are gonna be a thing. Okay. Dire wolf? No, just wolf. Kill. Another wolf. Um, well, I'm probably gonna be able to reach you from here. Nope. I might have misclicked, actually. Or maybe not. Okay. Shoot. Nice. Oh, there are more enemies. Oh. Interesting. So there's a underground connection between the goblin and, and bandit forts, possibly. Also, yeah, this wall. Not actually necessary to... Or possibly even... Possible to... Uh, to tear down. Save, I guess. Well, we can. Dead Eye Diver. Um, fireball. Smite. Damn it! Oh, damn it! Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I should have seen that coming, and at least tried casting protection. So that that's got, that guy is a bit of a problem. If I can take out, uh, actually, I mean, he's gonna be able to shoot even if I uh, immobilize these guys. I wonder if I have a chance at taking him out uh, at a distance, basically. I 
I feel like I should focus dealing all my damage to him. Of course, after I do this here. Oh, can I not? Wait. Too far away? Uh, yes, okay. Alright, I didn't expect to daze that guy, so that's perfect. These two guys are out of the out of the equation. Of course, Rosluka is not going to be able to reach, which is a bummer. Um, but again, yeah, I actually did poison him. It's weird. Maybe enemies who can't get dazed? Maybe he's immune to daze. And... Oh, it actually says right here. Well, I need. I really need to read the chat log more. Powerful 4 resists a mind control effect, which daze, I guess, is a weak version of. But the effort makes it ill. Okay. Okay, good to know. It's also very fair that that's a thing. Um, okay. Oh my god, that's a one-shot! Holy crap, was that... That was not even... That, that was not even a, a... A critical at all. Wow, just straight up 60 damage. Wow. Um... That's a problem. I mean, no one's going to survive that kind of damage. Not even her. Although, she probably would have taken less than 60 damage. Oh, I mean... Okay. I guess I can hope for... A, for worse damage rolls on, on him. Can we get him to come in immediately? I guess I saved at the perfect distance. Hmm. Might as well try and... Kill these guys, I suppose. Uh, if I... Can I really not... Hmm, no. Okay. One more. One extra step, and... It's definitely gonna get targeted again. There's no way. Well, we'll see. Oh, he missed at an 89% hit chance. Wow. That's way too unlikely. The question is whether we can finish him off. Okay, unfortunately we woke up that guy. I'm really not sure we can kill him here. No, nope. he's definitely going to kill someone. Oh, or he might just have a terrible damage roll and we actually survive. Wow. Okay, we should not have won this one. Honestly. That was... Okay, I mean... Alright, I was gonna say that... Um, having him miss an 89% hit chance... Uh, shot was maybe a little bit... You know... A little bit too lucky on my part. To really call this a fair victory. But um, now that I know that... Ooh... Sweet. <laughs> now that I know that um, he can roll less than 60 damage, significantly less, um, that makes it a bit more of a fair fight. Um, Ash Longbow. Yeah. I mean, it's not a ton more damage, but it is more damage. Also, no, never mind. It has the same 10% crit chance. Extra crit chance. I didn't even notice that before. I guess it's just a Longbow thing. Hmm. Uh, I mean, everyone else... Has crude lombos already, or javelins? I mean, I might as well have her keep using javelins and not give her a bow at all, just for some variety, you know. Nice. Uh, well, definitely save the game after that. Wow. Let's see where this leads. Might just be a dead end, or more wolves. Oh, dire wolf. Okay, mighty blow. And missed both attacks. At 54%. 54? <laughs> okay. 54%. Uh, yeah. He has 91, even with the heavier armor that I just gave him. Finish off the direwolf, or he'll try and finish it off. I mean, can you reach it there? You can. There we go. Nice crit, too. Nice miss. There we go. You know what? Let's just use the energy and and heal her. 
Um, combat. Grab loot. No loot to grab. Enter. Uh, loot this nest. Broadsword sword. Uh, well, it's not as good as a broadsword as would be expected. It's not even as good as the iron short sword. Oh, of course, bronze wouldn't be as good. Derp. Uh, crude sword sword. Yes. It's better, but I mean, he'll never have to. Well, okay, maybe in a situation where he's surrounded by enemies and absolutely can't get away to, to get a shot off. I should probably still prioritize him having a better melee weapon over the mages, who are almost never going to want to fight in melee. Okay, another door. Is this... That, that is perfectly openable. Okay. And that leads back upstairs, probably to the bandit lair, if I'm correct. Oh, I also never checked this passage, I guess. Bandit hideout, yes. Absolutely correct. Well, I definitely want to... Maybe this is the only... Hmm. Of course, I never found or looked for the entrance to the bandit lair on the overworld, so it's perfectly possible that uh, this is the only way in there, or the significantly easier way, although it was no, guarded by a pretty tough enemy. Oh, okay, that's a lot of wolves. I mean, it's four wolves. It's not, it's not that many. Come on. Javelin. Oh. Almost. Oh, wow. I did not see the hellhound. Jesus. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess it's good that she was missed. Although, the attack might have... Well, it would have woken her up and a wolf attack might not have killed her. Probably wouldn't have killed her. Do I focus on the wolf? I was lucky before uh, getting the one shot. Okay. I was lucky again. How much of a crit chance do I have? I don't think it says uh, it tells you anywhere. No, unfortunately not. That was that would really be nice to have a a breakdown of all your of your to hit uh, bonuses and and um, negatives and your overall crit chance that kind of thing. That would be very convenient. Uh, I could try and daze this one. I should have. Fireball. That was risky. Although, 95% chance. Okay. Guess we were good. Uh, heal. Okay. Thanks for waking me up. Okay, this guy is pretty tough. Hit chance looks decent, though. Uh, okay. This is the test. Young Hellhound, immune to fire? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Please kill. It's getting way too dicey. Oh boy. Would have liked to cast protection, but of course, you know, if you have to absolutely heal every turn to keep people alive, there's no room for buffing. That's where haste comes in very, very handy. Blessed belt. Armor plus 6%. For no way to. Oh, wait, never mind. No weight at all, except it says five point five pounds right there. Well, yeah, you definitely need the most armor you can get. No doubt about that. Leather bracers. Uh, yes, that's another minus five to hit chance though. But twice the armor and extra evade chance. So, yeah, I guess. I'm. Basically preventing her from being able to hit anything, though. It's not great. Uh, you have gloves. Oh, these are six armor. Well, I mean, I guess if I'm giving her bracers, I might as well give her the better ones. And you really don't need those. But you also don't have hit problems, so there's that. So let's stay here. Did I check that? Yes. Okay, nothing on the ground. There is... Uh, yeah. One of the walls at the end of this corridor looks peculiar. It has four long straight cracks in it, in the shape of a rectangle. 
thanks for the very obvious hint. I mean, I did. I guess this is one of the one of the walls where these buttons are a bit better concealed, but it's still pretty obvious to me. Maybe that's just because I'm familiar with how they look. Maybe a new player might be more likely to overlook that. I don't know. I still think it's pretty obvious if you're paying any amount of attention. Where does this lead? And why are we in combat? Oh, because we see the enemies. Okay, this is also the same Bennett uh, hideout. Huh. Well, let's quickly loot and uh, dive back downstairs, I guess. Grab this. Grab spine shield. Uh, chainmail vest. I think that's that might be what... Um, what's what's his name again? Uh, Xar. <laughs> Kiar, Kiar, not Xar. Kiar is using. Um, yeah, either way, it's better. Uh, it's, it's not. It's it's worse than the breastplate, of course. Okay, and back downstairs, I guess. Bye, guys. What? Why can I? Not? Oh, because I have to reopen this from the side, right? Most secret doors, or maybe all secret doors, uh, always close when you exit a map. Wait, hold on a second. Oh no, never mind, this is the passage, the only passage that was left. Okay, right. Uh, before I go into the bandit fortress, I do want to take care of the goblin uh, chief, if I can at all. Definitely going to give that a try. So I guess the main... Um, purpose of that underground section is to connect to the bandit fort then. Okay. Uh, you have one of those, yes. And the mages definitely don't want that. Even if it didn't um, encumber them. Spine shield for nearby allies. I mean, I guess I can give some of these things to the archer who's probably going to be at a or might not be at a at maximum distance, maybe to uh, to intentionally bait some enemy attacks away from the mages. Uh, speaking of mages, definitely want to have everyone healed as much as possible. Assuming that we're going to fight the, the chief here. Okay, open that. Save. Uh, cast protection. You reach the deepest chamber of the goblin lair. Well, not technically the deepest, but the furthest in the back, I guess. Uh, here, their chieftain plans the many small raids and invasions that make these creatures such a pernicious threat. When you enter, she looks at you, unsurprised. Ah, invader. Was waiting. You took so long. Yeah, that's we because we explored the underground section and killed all your, all your people there as well. Um, so long to send a Vernum warrior. Oh, took long for us to come. Yeah, I guess. So long to send a Vernum warrior to Hall of Chief Cruncher. Now you die and we eat you. So sad. Bad death for a Vernum warrior. Well, I agree. Except that we're definitely not going to die. Unless you're stronger than you look. Although, maybe I should be a bit worried. Uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> it's pretty obvious what they're doing here. I didn't come to fight you. <laughs> I mean, there is no way we can like offer offer her an alliance or, or anything, so is this just intended as a some kind of uh, trick to, to surprise her? Hmm. I'm tempted to ask that. Or uh, to say that. Sure, let's say that. Actually, I didn't come to fight you. You are Vernum. Foolish with your, th with your treaties. Work with Sliths. Work with Nephilim. Never work with us. Goblins, we work alone. We send out to eat Empire thousands of our little munchers. What? We sent out to eat Empire, thousands of our little munchers, and surface for us and us alone. Uh-huh. Okay. That has worked for you, apparently. Uh, it's a pretty good plan. I don't want to interfere with it. Hmm. You think you'll invade the surface? You have no hope. Goblins never die out. We never give up. We try again and again. Someday we must win. It's just good gambling. Right. Enough talking. You invade, we eat you. Is good punishment. Attack! Okay. Uh, oh, wow. There are four goblins, the chief, and two skeletons. Hmm. Would probably be a good idea to... to wait outside, don't you think? 
Oh, actually, we're not in combat yet. <laughs> well, now we are. And it's too bad that I can't really... I would like to... Actually, I can stand there. Hmm. Shoot her. Oh, wow. Okay, that was... <laughs> nice crit. Uh, can you walk... There. Yeah, I was expecting that to happen, unfortunately. That's okay. Well, shoot her again. Um... I guess standing there is going to be good enough. See how many of them we can... Well, we can basically get the chief and two goblins, so... Let's do that. Days resisted. That doesn't mean she's immune, necessarily. Which is interesting. Oh. Whoops. I forgot about Rasluka. That's okay. Um... Protection. Ah, that's that's also right. Another thing I didn't, or I had forgotten, I suppose, because I must have known. Um, because uh, even creatures who are immune to to, uh, to days will always be ensnared. So that's useful even against undead. Uh, Chief Cruncher is starting to become annoyed after the first round. She snarls. Glibble, get out here, you coward! Bring your dumb bones with you! Need help with the Avernum pests! Oh, so she has her private uh, necromancer. Okay, ouch. Thanks for waking me up, though. Um, okay, I would like to preserve my well aimed blow for her, but I'm not going to reach her. Oh, and I ended up not using it anyway. Never mind. Forget anything I just said. Uh, sure, let's just keep shooting her. We have a 95% hit chance. That's really nice. Um, you know what? You keep doing this. And ensnare all those, well, some of those fresh skeletons. And maybe even Days the Chief. Nope, Days resisted. In this case, honestly, I, would, I almost wish uh, she was immune so that I could poison her. But that's okay. Heal. Okay, thanks for missing. Ouch. There. Well, in blow and completely miss. Uh, okay. Keep shooting her. Fireball. And I should probably keep healing her for safety's sake. Yeah, definitely. Okay, well, we've been really lucky with enemy misses, <laughs> and she just doesn't know what to do. Um, kill the goblin. Okay. Kill the chief. Yep. All right. With a final blow, the chief of the goblins falls and dies. She makes an unpleasant gagging noise as she expires, probably muttering some ineffective curse on you and your offspring. This tribe will now curse much. <laughs> curse much less, and also cause much less trouble for the people of Upper Avernum. This was quite a favor for Fort, Fort Emergence. Perhaps someone there will be willing to give you a reward. Yeah, I like that. Johnson. Jerk. And this was would really be a good opportunity for some AoE damage, wouldn't it? If only I had some. Uh, what? Oh, okay. Interesting that uh, I accidentally hit the empty hotkey and that brings up this... There's menu here. Good to know, actually. Although, well, I guess it's not really all that helpful. Uh, okay, the shaman is pretty much unreachable for now. These things are already ensnared. Hmm. So I guess fireball it is. Maybe some cleave? Nope, no cleave. You definitely need healing. Okay. Getting smart and trying to sneak through. Some zombie, alright. Oh. Okay. Oof, this is getting really unpleasant. Uh, actually, well, ice is not going to work against the undead, but. Lightning should? This is energy damage. Yeah. Let's see how that works. Very nicely. Okay. Kill that one. 
Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Wow, that was scary. Don't do that, please. Um, I'm sure that zombie is more dangerous than the skeletons, but let's take them out. Can't reach. You can't. You can't from here. Or you can miss. Sure, that works too. Okay, he healed a skeleton. Oh boy, that's not great. Um, protection is still up. Well, aim low. Oh no, this thing is tough. And it missed. Thank goodness. Um, take off more of these. Their attacks will add up. Can I reach it from here? No. From here? Seriously? There we go. Thanks for the cleave. Thanks for the heal. Oh, protection is... or shield chant is out now. Okay, thanks for the crit. That helps a lot. Okay, good. We're definitely fine now. Um, see if I can daze you, because why not? Yep. Alright. Heal. Walk up into position. Wait, wait. Protection, just in case. Okay. Well, aim blows back up. I missed. <laughs> That's okay. And we one-shot with a crit. Okay, that guy had no health at all. Another gold ring. Goblin's cleaver. Um... Okay, plus one to lethal blow, so extra crit chance. Uh, damage is alright. 23 to 92. Yeah. Uh, wait, no, never mind. It's actually terrible damage. Never mind. Yeah. I mean, the extra crit chance is nice, but that's only, what, 3%? Or how much? Yeah. I don't think that's worth it. Uh, another belt for you. There we go. Some javelins. What else? A whole bunch of junk. And that's it. No containers, no buttons. No. Nope. Oh, you stand before a crude altar. That's true. Uh, covered with rough, grim drawings and horrible messages in the goblin tongue. Strangely, despite the unpleasantness, you feel a very strange urge to kneel before it. Oh. Really? That sounds bad. That sounds like a very bad idea. Okay, more javelins for you. Awesome. Um, hmm. I mean, if there was an option to smash it, to desecrate it, uh, I would do that. Kneel before it? Uh, I don't know. Kneel? Not sure why you're doing it. Uh, you utter a brief prayer or two in the goblin to the goblin dark, the goblin's dark god. Nothing happens this time. But if I do it again... Why am I doing this? I feel this weird urge. Hmm. It's probably just a fake-out. Yeah, I don't think doing that multiple times will actually do anything. Hmm, okay. I mean, I could make my way to the Bandit Fortress and start... Uh, cleaning up there a little bit. But I also want to... Take a look at the the main entrance first. Can I actually? That's it's too far. Yeah, the pathfinding is still limited, unfortunately, by the distance it can automatically travel. I mean, the entrance should be right around the corner, like either here or up there. Yep, not here. Uh, okay, it's definitely here. This corridor is eerily quiet. It is... Oh, we are also over an hour. Crap. <laughs> wow, I was so... Uh, in the flow. Hmm. Well, anyway. Uh, this corridor is eerily quiet. It is decorated by many totems and mounted skulls bearing dire warnings to trespassers. The bandits here must be a strong group indeed if they can display their position so blatantly. Or are they? I mean, I guess... Yeah. Um, some of them are pretty nasty. Well, I guess I'm gonna keep this as a bit of a cliffhanger, and we're gonna try uh, exactly how dangerous they are. We have killed a couple of them underground, and 
But that one named guy was pretty tough, so this might actually be a little bit too hard for us to handle right now. But it might be a better idea to return first and get some rewards and maybe... Let's see here, level ups. Huh? I mean, we're probably not going to get enough experience from that from those completed quests or that one completed quest to level up, but... Uh, well, who knows, maybe. I'm definitely going to give that a try and see if we have any chance against these guys. Uh, but for the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.